Okay, speaking of looking great, somebody thinks that dark skinned ladies look really great and has outrightly criticized someone who purportedly is coming into Nigeria to sell bleaching creams. His name is Burner Boy, and we all know him and love his music. And he's gone ahead to attack Black China. Reports have it that Black China is coming into the country. And he said, and I quote, Black China, please don't come and post your poison here. You can, okay, I, I can't read out this part. He said, please don't come and post your poison here. If not, the thunder that will fire you is wearing sneakers. He mentioned the brand <laughs> of sneakers. And of course, less than 24 hours, Densia went on the famous blog, notable for a lot of criticism. Mm. And she went to reply Bonner Boy's comment, stating categorically that Bonner Boy is full of drugs. He's used to taking drugs and he should stick to his own side of the business. And I, he said, she said uh, uh, that Nigerians are being hypocritical, that we've had other whitening cream companies coming to Nigeria to set up shop, and that even the Navdak DG attended the event of such. But hey, because it's Black China now, everybody's making noise. And she told him to take several seats, telling him that she's sending him love and light this Thanksgiving um, day, and grateful that he's thankful that he's alive, even though he's living life on the high side. I was like, what, what, what manner of, what manner of shit and. Why, why, why are we going to do this, though? But, you know, let's leave the back and the forth. And let's talk about skin lightening cream. And I should probably hear from your side of the divide. What's your take on bleaching in the society? There are several people. Some people think it's okay. Some people say it's your body. At the end of the day, do whatever you want. But some other people think, you know, you know that, that it's become a norm. And we know that bleaching did not start in our generation. Our mothers, our grandmothers, if you look at them, the older women, you would see those that their bleaching went wrong because some part of the face is a little dark. But our generation has fine-tuned bleaching such that you have Egyptian oil, Filipino oil, and everybody's looking mixed to it. What's your take on bleaching? Okay, so the thing is, for the health effects is the main thing. I mean, if there were no health effects and anybody was doing whatever they wanted to do <coughs> with their skins, I would have said, fine. It's you just like one of the comments you made. But... There are health effects to this. We hear that layers of the skin die when you begin to bleach, you know. And then at some point, we, we get to see women having, even we can see the level of the greenness of their veins through their skin. It's like you could actually see like their blood vessels, you know. It's that whitened. So I'm saying uh, we should be careful. If you're going to go, it's my body. Remember that. When you get sick and you suffer skin cancer, your family will suffer. Or if it's you have not to just do you. some sort of surgery and your skin layer has thinned out such that they can't even hold it together for those who have bleached and bleached until it's like the last layer. <laughs> but this is not a shade that anybody bleached. However, there are certain angles. Some people believe, so I, I've heard some people who categorically or outrightly detest bleaching because they feel that it's spun out of the whole white supremacist thing because we've, Africans have for the longest time lived in captivity, lived in slavery, and they've seen bleaching as some sort of mental slavery, which is why they say emancipate yourself from mental slavery, because we've oftentimes looked, to, looked up to the white people as a superior race. Oh, by the way, I saw a film yesterday that if you, I, I'll tell you about the film, you should go see it. When you watch it, you'll be so angry at white supremacy and the whole problems that racism comes with. However, yeah, back to the conversation, some people get so angry that it makes us feel like we're second class, you know, we're not as good as the white people, and your skin color has to be white for you to be accepted. That's one argument on the one hand. On the other hand, the health benefits or the health risks yes. is something to be considered. The fact that you know your people are bleaching, bleaching the wrong way self, using hydroquinone. I hear hydroquinone is not really necessarily bad if administered properly, but we know that people do over-the-counter medications. People are mixing creams these days. Their skin layer is thinning out. When I was younger, I know that I used to think that for you to be considered beautiful, it had to be light skin. Because I, I found that when I was younger, I'd heard people tell me to, to my face, you need to lighten your complexion, you're too dark. I've heard people say to me, and at some point, if I am being entirely honest, it did get to me. And at some point, I, I intentionally wanted to brighten up. You know, we call it toning, but that's not true. <laughs> it's actually bleaching your skin in different layers. So you start to tone, you know, you find that you start to like it. And I've seen many people that have done this, they tone, they go one shade, they tone, they go another shade, they tone, and before you know, they are light skin. So at the end of the day, my question is, how can I make somebody, how can I tell someone that she's dark and beautiful 
can I, I have like so hard to believe it if I haven't learned to believe it as well. We're all in different stages of our journey to self-love and self-acceptance. You know, there's several arguments to this, but I would still like to stand on the health benefits and the fact or the health risk. Stand on the fact that it's not necessarily healthy. You know, they say it's not necessarily healthy. So let us know what side of the divide are you on. Same, it is your skin. You can do whatever you like with it. Or same, bleaching is wrong. Oh, let us know on Instagram or Twitter at Olive and Muddy, at Esther Adeze underscore official and at Wazobia Mac. To enjoy more of this, our will get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.